Hello VC, welcome to my latest video. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, tonight I'm going to continue in my series of doing what I like to call my shootouts. Um, the album we're going to be focusing on tonight, it's playing in the background and I pretty much think it needs no introduction to most of us here, but it is um, Led Zeppelin 1, the debut from the iconic band Led Zeppelin. Um, I have three pressings I'm going to focus on tonight. Um, the first one is the Classic Records reissue. Front, there's the back. Um, I think this came out in maybe 2009. Not sure, but I think it was 2009. This is a 180 gram version. There was a 200 gram version and a 45 RPM cut version. Um, I have done recordings with the 45 RPM and if anybody wants me to put a clip up after this is done I'll be glad to do so but for the purpose of this I'm going to focus on just three pressings. Um, the next one is the US first pressing. Um, you can see that I'll get this one of these days. The catalog number is SD8216 on the Atlantic label. There's the back out of focus. Come on, focus. Oh well. Um, this album is on the eighteen forty one Broadway label. Probably can't see it because my camera won't focus. But it is. This was this was pressed at Monarch, the Monarch pressing plant, and it was cut by George Piros. You can find that by looking at for AT and then a forward slash and GP in the dead wax. And on the Atlantic labels, I should have just left the label here, Let's see if I can get this right. If you can see that, right over here, oh, I'll get this one of these days, I swear. See the MO, that tells you Monarch. One of these days I'll do a video, or unless there's already a video on pressing plants and how to find out which is which by the different labels. Maybe I'll do a video of that. But this is the second pressing I'm, we're going to use tonight. And the last pressing, I don't have the cover for, I don't have the album here. Um, it was on loan to me from a guy in Germany. Um, it is the German, I mean the German, the UK Atlantic Plum first pressing. Um, on the plum labels, and I'll probably post a picture up in the in the post edit of what it looks like. But um, those are the three we're going to focus on. Um, so I took three songs, and I'm going to try to do a little bit different how I present them to you. And so I'm going to play them all right now, and then afterwards I'll kind of give you my thoughts, and then maybe you can comment and let me know what you think. So. Without further ado, let's get on with it. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble!
We're back. Um, I hope you made it through all the clips. I know they're a little bit long, but I wanted to give you a feel for what each pressing sounded like. Um, they're they're all three very different. Um, so people who say that pressing differences don't matter should really listen to those because there's definitely a distinct difference. Now, as for my opinion, and once again, this is just opinion. Everyone has their favorites, and there's no right or wrong here. Um, this is just for fun. So, and I, but I realize people are very passionate about their music, and especially an album like this. But for me, um, I would say that I prefer the U.S. Monarch pressing um, that was cut by George Piros. Um, the, probably second after that, um, the U.K. Plum pressing and then the classic third. Um, by, all, by no means are these bad pressings. To me, they're all, you could, I could live with any, any of the three, but for my taste, I just feel that the, the Monarch's a little bit more natural sounding. Um, it doesn't 
feel as constrained as maybe the classic and the UK plum. The UK plum seems to have a little bit of the mid scooped out of it at times. Um, the classic can get a bit boomy for me, and I don't know if that was maybe Bernie Grumman trying to make up for some tape degradation or compensate for trying to make a you know Robert Ludwig Led Zeppelin two type cut, but it's it's definitely it times gets a bit boomy for me on 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 my system. But I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I look forward to the next shootout. I'm thinking I might do um, a Music Matters 45 RPM and 33 RPM of the same title. I think I have Lee Morgan Candy in both. So maybe it'd be interesting to see what the sonic differences are um, between those two. Oh, before I forget, I try to remind myself. Um, all the clips were level matched. So it's, so it's kind of a fair fight. So no clip is louder than the other. So I wanted to make sure I did that because I had a couple people ask me in the Close to the Edge shootout. So thanks for watching and um, click the subscribe button if you feel the need and have a good one.